So why do we need to perform short circuit studies? Find out the short time rating of all equipments. Many people think short circuit study is needed only for a protecting devices like circuit breakers or something. But short circuit study is to find out the short time rating of all equipments. When I say all equipments, it's for cables, it's for switch gears, it's for transmission lines, it's for transformers. Each and every equipment in the power system has a continuous rating. That continuous rating has to be evaluated in low flow as a part of equipment loading, whereas their short time rating that needs to be evaluated under a short circuit studies. So each and every equipment in the power system has continuous rating that needs to be validated using load flow. Each and every equipment has the short time rating or a short circuit rating that needs to be evaluated in a short circuit studies. And you need to also find out making breaking of circuit breakers, making peak current, breaking RMS current. And like means circuit breakers has the making capability and breaking capability, how much current it can safely interrupt, how much current it can safely make, all these things which needs to be identified. So this is what generally we do short circuit, but the first objective of short time rating might be new. Short time rating of all equipments needs to be identified and that needs to be validated against what's available source circuit current. That's the first objective. And the second one, like selection of the breaker rating, this is what conventionally you hear in the uh, textbooks. And third one, it is just not RMS current and FP current. There is something else called DC component. So your breaker has another capability of interrupting DC current. So that is also another factor which we need to identify. So this again probably uh, the short circuit study definitely an input for a relay coordination. It's input for a motor acceleration. It's an input for a transient stability. It's an input for a harmonic analysis. It's also an input for an RMS studies. So load flow provides an input to other studies. Similar fashion, short circuit also provides an input. And it serves short circuit study as an input for other studies like relay coordination or plus or something. So why I am saying it is basics or why I am saying you have to go depth. Like you need to know what are the studies to be performed. You need to know why that study has to be performed. Why is the answer here? And you need to know, like means to say, the study becomes an input to what are the studies. Then when you are performing that study, you need to understand what are the primary inputs or like means to say we defined inputs which has to come from another studies and how the changes in the base case can have an impact on that study needs to be understood. That's why I'm saying this basics and you have to go there. So what I mean by that? Simple. So example, you're talking about a stability, transient stability. In order to find out the transient stability, whether the system is stable or not, of course, the transient event, say example fault, is important. Whether it is three phase fault or single line to ground fault, it is important. I am not denying it. The behavior of AVR and governor, it is important. I am not denying it. What's the duration of the fault? All the transient events are important. But beyond all, on what steady state this event has happened is also important. That's when the steady state analysis load flow becomes an input to transient stability. So let me say this uh, transient stability with some, some examples. So example, if you want to perform a transient stability for a car which is at meeting an accident. So means when the car is going, like I mean, so some other vehicle came and hit this car. So means to say what vehicle came at what speed it came and how it hit like all the transient events are important but much before that like means to say what's the steady state of this car which is like means say, traveling at this specified speed continuously like that model is also important if that probably changes like your transient results also will change so what i mean even in a steady state your system can be closer to the uncertainty or closer to the instability so by the time, even if there is a small disturbance created, like this can go as system can go as an unstable condition. So on like load flow, 
and short circuit and like i mean to say the other study like i'm going to say under steady state like we have low flow short circuit relay coordination r plus harmonics like multiple studies but i have explained in detail low flow and short circuit and like when it comes to the transient we have electromechanical transient electromagnetic transients under electromechanical transients you have motor starting transient stability under electromagnetic you have like multiple other studies so under electromechanical transients under motor acceleration study like why do we need to do motor acceleration study whether the motor is able to start or not like if it is not able to start do we need a soft starter or fcma starter or lrs starter what type of starter which is needed whether the transformer rating selected is sufficient or not how to optimize the transformer impedance like transformer impedance has to be optimized not rather than blindly following the standards the transformer impedance has to be optimized case to case by means of performing low flow short circuit and motor acceleration study what's the typical value given in the standard is a guideline but you have to perform the studies to optimize the transformer impedance thank you so much for watching this video hope you found this video useful and you got some information on the short circuit studies as well as eta and if you want to learn complete power system studies in basics of eta click the link in the below description and i want you to explore our complete course so that you can gain more knowledge use the link below in the description and i want to see you in the full course thank you so much